I always feel like post-show, first training session hits differently. Normally, you would have had like a post-show meal and obviously a bit more extra food. I didn't really have extra food on Saturday, but still had a really good session. Obviously, quite chilled a couple of days beforehand. So yeah, I'll put some clips now because I have never looked like this before in my life. Crazy. Can't believe it. <laughs> show of the season which is a two bros regional so NPC and yeah just literally got back from the weekend at NFM UK yeah that was that was crazy place second I was awarded my GBO pro status which is very very exciting just it's, it's mad like you prep and prep and prep and then all of a sudden it's all done over in a flash. On to the next one. I've never done a back-to-back -back peak week before, so this week's gonna be interesting. Bit of a challenge, obviously, if you've been following my journey for a while, you know that I coach myself, and I coached myself last season, coaching myself this season. So this is a new challenge for me, but we are ready for the challenge. It won't be quite as extreme in terms of an emotional roller coaster that last week was, because I've already carved up from the previous show. I kind of just need to maintain bring it a little bit tighter, just do a little bit of cardio, kind of gonna roll into this next one. I'm not gonna do crazy depletion or crazy carb up because there's not really much time. And yeah, just straight back on it with food today. I didn't really have any post-show treats as such. Someone had a brownie that I put a tiny little bits in my cream of rice. And that was literally it. Like it's the first time I've properly done a, like not a post-show treat or a meal but it's fine because we know we're on to the next one so my fire is lit I'm very excited just kind of processing everything that's happened over the weekend my friend Kelsey won the women's beach overall she won a ticket to America and yeah she just smashes it she does incredibly well and she had drama I'm I'm not joking it could have been so much worse just before she was about to step on stage her bikini snapped right in the middle so yeah and uh yeah she was literally pumping up so fortunately she had a spare bikini with her so prep packs rule number one for show day make sure you take spare bikini and spare things and repair kits and all sorts because you never know what's going to happen you have to be prepared for anything so yeah i'm actually gonna now i've just booked to do the nfm uk pro show in four weeks time uh, I, w I nearly did the pro show yesterday, but as I placed second in my height category, and I was knackered, and I'm doing Saturday, I was like, there's no no point really, I'd rather pay and do another show in a few weeks time, come in Lena, bring a different package, that's, that's the plan, and that's what we're doing, very exciting. Also, I wanted to show you this purchase, 
This is the best investment I've made in the last few weeks. So I had a little robe, uh, people tend to wear little show day robes, which is fine, the little satiny ones in the summer when it is hot and you don't want to like, you know, you want to cover up but you don't want to get sweaty or whatever, but it is getting cold now. So this is a men's dressing gown that I got from TK Maxx for 20 quid and it did the job yesterday. So yeah, I felt very luxurious. So I just wanted to introduce this next vlog. I'm back to, I've got my egg whites and an egg. Um, basically on like 100 gram of carbs today, about 25, 30 gram of fat, and 140 grams of protein. So what I'm gonna do is keep that for a few days and then just put a little bit more carbs in at the end of the week before the show. Let's see how we go, it's very exciting. So yeah, I'm gonna take you along for this peak week. <sighs> Let's do it, show number two of the season. Woo! Just found the duvet that I took with me for last show day. So I didn't ruin the bed sheets. Oh, look at you, so cute. Please excuse the state of my house. It's literally like, everything's still in bags from the weekend, but it's kind of pointless unpacking because I'm going to be repacking everything very soon. I woke up today to a new low weigh-in of 52 kg. Last week, my lowest weigh-in before I carved up was 52.4, and then it went up to 53.5 after one day of carbs. It went up to 53.8 after two days of carbs. Then it came back down to 53.5 on Friday, so that was the last weigh-in I did. So I actually dropped 1.5 kg over the weekend, which I'm buzzing about. Means that I'm definitely gonna come in leaner and tighter for the next one. But yes, I'm gonna pull up to 150 grams of carbs today. I'm training glutes today. Just about two hop on the bike for morning cardio. I actually had a really, really big sleep this morning. I woke up originally at half five and I was tempted to get up but I was like, you know what, I've not got anything on this morning and I'll try to get to bed and I'll get like eight, which is the latest I have slept in four months. Watch some Missy Truscott YouTube because she is, love. I love her YouTube channel. She's just got the best energy on prep and her and her husband or boyfriend or whoever it is, they just have such a great relationship and I like to think it's one like me and Andy are like. So yeah, I'm watching that for some inspo and gonna do my cardio, plan out my meals for today. Very excited, lots of positives, lots of positives. Happy days, I'm so much less stressed than I was last peak week. So much more full of energy. This is really nice. I'm enjoying this process of back to back peak week so far see how it goes. Cardio done! Whew. So I did 45 minutes this morning. I feel like I'm flattened out already to be honest. New low weigh in. Oh, a little bit of shoulders there. I then just taper down cardio the rest of the week. Some veins coming out there. Trying to like maintain the tan <clears throat> from last week, so I've been putting moisturizer on after a shower just to make sure it doesn't like start peeling off and stuff. Um, and then just do a couple of coats and getting them to do my top coat on Saturday. So it takes all one stress. week 
and everything is looking really good. I already feel leaner and tighter and looking better than I did on the weekend. I'm about to edit my bikini second one of this prep. So I'm going to put this little thing in the middle. A bit of zhuzh there. I'm changing these window straps for these dual ones. So this is just a little bit outdated. So yeah, and then I've got these ones to do on the bottoms. I'm also going to try, this is testing my skills, try and make this bit like smaller. I've seen people do like a sewing bit in the middle here so that on the back of this, I've got like less coverage on my glutes. So hopefully I can somehow pull that in. So I don't know how this is gonna go. We will see. Could be interesting, could be horrendous. Fingers crossed, it goes well. I'll keep you updated. <laughs> just eating my post-workout meal which is cream of rice with an egg, some berries, banana. I have been feeling so much better this peak week than last week. I am a real big fan of this linear loading. It's just so much more predictable, I feel less stressed, I feel like I've looked better every day, I've been getting sick pumps. I'm not overwhelmed with carbs, going from really low energy to really high energy, and I just feel this is probably the best I've ever felt going into a show, so I'm very, very excited for this one. I've mostly done my bikini, I've just got one more strap to do. I'm just, I'm just so happy, and yeah, I've never felt like this in peak week before. It's very exciting. So, I did a shoulder workout today, and then I've got a full body pump tomorrow. I've been training quite hard this week, not too heavy but definitely been putting all the carbs to good use. My weight has maintained, so it was down to 62 on Monday, uh, Tuesday, and each day I've been increasing carbs and overall food, and it's just maintained really, so yeah, very, very happy. Got 300 grams today, gonna see how I look like in the morning, probably go a little bit lower tomorrow, a little bit more fats, and then on show day I'm gonna actually have a bit more food, a bit more water than last week. Um, I won't be on till probably about 6 or 7 p.m. So it's a very late day, so it's quite hard to peak for. But yeah, I think I'm just gonna keep it consistent, just treat it as another normal day. A few few bits to do, but nothing crazy. Obviously, I've already done like hair, makeup, still got tan, so I've got like, oh, it's gonna die again. Well, I'm gonna finish off here, it's my camera, it's not charging very well at the moment. But yeah, happy days, driving down tomorrow. Exciting, let's do it. It's show day eve again! I'm back on my phone because my camera is charging. I have just done my full body pump workout. It's really good. I I've just can't really believe how this week is going. Really can't. It's it's actually mental. My weight maintained. Still 52. Has been 52 every single day this week. I had 300 grams of carbs yesterday. So, yeah, I mean, I was expecting my weight to be up. Normally, is after you do a carb up. I feel like this week has been the best peak week. I will always do a linear load in the future because it's just worked so well. So much less stress. And I feel like I'm probably, you know, coming in tighter because I am not stressing out. Like, it's hugely important. It's a little food shop and just got to get some bits ready. We're going to be leaving in a couple of hours. I still need to do all my shaving and stuff this morning be quite as big of a task as last week because I was a hairy uh, mammoth and it just went through two razors because I had not shaved in the <laughs> They just popped up, that's how, that's how hairy I was. The sun is out, I'm feeling great, I have just, I can't explain how happy I have been this week and it's just amazing. 
so happy. Finished my bikini and I did a little check in this morning in it. So I'm very, very happy with how that came out. It was quite a task, especially adjusting the bottoms. So I've basically turned it from like, I think it's a Brazilian cut, like a pro cut. So it's definitely a bit smaller, which then gives my glutes more of a pop at the top. So I'm happy with how that went. Quite a different peak week walk to all my others. Normally you see the highs and the lows, but it's just been getting higher and higher and better and better every day. I've actually trained every single day this week, which is really not probably what people would say to do on peak week, but every other peak week I have tried to chill and I feel like I just look worse for it. Like I think my body just looks much better after I've trained. Like I've not gone stupid heavy or anything. I've still had my cardio in, still did half an hour yesterday, was doing like an hour each day up to that point. And it's just made me look way better. So you learn these things. And the thing is like, your body is different to everyone else's and you have to experiment a little bit and try out new things and just find what works best for you. I look leaner, I look tighter, I look fuller. Great, yeah, I'm gonna go home, wash my hair, sort all the bits out, and then we're gonna get on the road much further distance today. We're going down to London, down to Maidenhead. I've competed here before, so at least I know the venue and I know how everything works. Registering tonight, and then we've got a little Airbnb, which is really cute, and it's like seven minutes away from the venue, which is perfect. And it's got hardwood floors, lots of natural light, so it's gonna be all great. Exciting! We're on the way! Show day number two! Woohoo! Yeah, packed uh, the whole car again. It's just crazy how much stuff you have to take. Well, I think we are all good to, 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 good to go. Good to go. Good to go. I'm feeling already like. I mean, I, I can't explain how my body's responding. So we're gonna probably get down there about five and then go to register about six. Of Chan tonight. Have some more food. Just chilling, really. Chill out. This is the least stress I've ever felt. And the best I've ever felt. Very excited. How are you feeling? I feel excited as well, actually. It's been a fantastic week for both of us. It's just us two going to watch while we Yeah, it'll be a bit weird without Chelsea. I'm sure I'll see someone that I know and see him. Yeah, I'm just gonna go on this journey, chilling. Might have a stop and a little wander if you need a need a break from the drive. Yeah. Um, yeah. Let's do it. What? <laughs> what? What have did you I do? Got there? I may, may have got pizza. Oh, cheesy. I saw a pepperoni. I was like, I need my fats today, so go get that pepperoni's in. in. And also, good man, bolting. We've arrived at our cute little Airbnb. Proper cute. So it's actually like a seven minute drive. Maybe a little tour. So, a little driveway. Little kitchen, of course. Essential fridge, microwave. Good lighting and floor for doing some posing. We're gonna have a little chill now and then gonna go register probably about half an hour or something. What time is it? 20, 20 past 5. So yeah, we can register from 6 and then come back and we'll have to do a coat of tan. I'm going for that. Tan man. For that. Call me the tan man. He's pro now. Passed the test. Well done. Flying colours. And then just chill. Got two more meals to eat. Just relax, watch some TV. Oh my goodness, that is good. So look at that. And you got some pan of chocolate. Oh, so you were milk in the fridge, look, babe. Milk in the fridge. This is top service. Some high level Excellent. 
We got bowls because the last one didn't have bowls. We got bowls. <laughs> <laughs> there was a dog out here before as well. Nescafe, old blends, good. Tea bags. There she is. Got your second. Happy with your number? That's four plus four is eight, and then eight is two, and then eighty-two is my favourite number. So ten. Four, four, fucking two. Only the football uh, fans of the channel will know what I mean. What's that mean? It's, um, it's a thing from a football. I don't think there's any football fans watching my YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> Just put it to reverse. Put it to reverse. Right. One, six, seven, point. Oh. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Was G last time? Five. Hold on. Stand up. <laughs> <laughs> one six eight. You're literally on the cusp of it. Yeah. One yeah. six eight. That's fine. Carry on. Are you ready? Oh, you're looking easy. Come trouble. Thank you. Done. <laughs>